Hello, my name is Miss Kim and welcome BCL Explorers. I'm a librarian with the Broward County Library and today we're going to be exploring with our online resources that can help you do something great at home. We're going to be reading a book about physics and doing a simple science experiment with items that you can find in your home. Grown-ups, this experiment is intended for children in grades kindergarten through second grade. Let's get started. We're going to be reading a book called CC Love Science Push and Pull by Kimberly Durting and Shelley Johannes. You can find this book by accessing Hoopla on the Broward County Library's website. CC Love Science Push and pull. Cece and her friend Isaac walked to school. Cece pulled her dog Einstein in a wagon. Isaac kicked her soccer ball. Today was a special day. Miss Curry met them by the flagpole. Is Einstein ready for science class? Miss Curry said. Einstein hopped off the wagon and barked, woof. Einstein is excited, said Cece. Cece was excited too. Cece loved science. She could not wait to get started on a new experiment. Today, we will learn about push and pull, said Ms. Curry. These are forces that move in different ways. Can anyone think of an example? Hmm. Cece raised her hand. It's like when I pull Einstein in my wagon, she said. Isaac raised his hand. And when I kick my soccer ball, he said. Exactly, said Ms. Curry. Now let's do our lab and see how these forces work. Now, there are four terms we need to know, and they are force, push, pull, and motion. Pushing or pulling an object is force. Force can cause an object to move faster, or slow down, stay in place, or change shape. Push is a force that moves something away from you. Pull is a force that moves something towards you. Motion is the change of position of an object because of force. Now let's get to our science experiment. This book happens to have instructions for what we're going to do. We are going to learn about the force of push through bowling. What we need for this experiment is 10 water bottles, a ball about the size of a tennis ball, a book, and a can or a jar. Line up the bottles in triangular pattern. One, two, three, four. We're counting as well. One in front, two behind, three behind, finish with the four. Now let's start by applying a slow and gentle push. What happened? What do you think would happen if we rolled the ball a little faster? Let's try a little faster. what happened and why. So let's see what happens when we bring it a little closer. And we have this ramp that we created with the book and the jar. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm not a good bowler. Let's try one more time. All right. What happened when we exerted the force of push? And why did it happen? What do you think would happen if you used a bigger ball, a smaller ball, a heavier ball, or if you fill the bottles with water? Try experimenting on your own. I want to thank you for joining BCL Explorers. Remember, you can find CC Love Science and many other science books on Hoopla, the Broward County's Library's website. Thank you and goodbye.